Janissaries were the elite troops of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman army won most of their early victories thanks to Janissaries' ultimate battle tactics. From the beginning of the new empire, Janissaries were the power that the Sultan counted on. Military schools recruited superior soldiers for every field of the army. Some of the talented and loyal soldiers even rose to the highest rank of the empire. Just like in the context of chess, they were like pawns. In the end, they could even reach the position of a vizier. This is the story of one. The story of Mehmed began tragically, or should I say the name his father gave him, Fatyon. His father was a local fisherman in Hamara, a coastal town in Albania. Every five years, Ottoman agents used to stop by Christian villages to adopt bright boys, who were then recruited for Janissary Ojak. Fatyon was nine years old when the agents came to his village. Fatyon was the second youngest boy of the family. His little brother was the most upset, left at home after the separation. The agents were ordered to adopt only one child out of at least 40 houses. Therefore, he didn't have any friends from his neighbourhoods. He was alone. He wept all the way to Selenik. Then they took him to Constantinople via ships. However, the road didn't end there. The Christian boys from different villages of Balkans were given to new families. Fatyon was supposed to be given to a Muslim family without a child. So Fatyon went to Turkadag, to an Agrarian foster family. They treated him well and taught him Islam as well as Turkish language. When he returned to Constantinople, he was a fluent Turkish speaker and he learned the traditions. In time, he grew older and stronger. The military school of Janissaries was extremely difficult for the developing boys. They were categorised by their skills, such as archery, artillery, navy, engineering, art, music and so forth. Fatyon performed well in artillery. He went through eight years of artillery education as a cadet. At 25, he became a Janissary in the reign of Sultan Selim. Sultan Selim, who started an eight-year-long war against East, conquered the most land out of all the Sultans in history. Fatyon, under the command of Sultan Selim, fought against the Safavids in Persia. Artillery was then a new technology, which the Ottomans were superior in. Artillery played a very strategic role in the Battle of Chaljuan. Thus, Fatyon was quickly distinguished in his Orta battalion. He was assigned as Yenisseri Agassi, the General of Janissaries. He led the Janissaries against the Mamluks in what is now modern Syria and Egypt. After the Ottoman army under the command of Sultan Selim destroyed the Kingdom of Mamluks, they returned to Constantinople. Fatyon had eight years of battle experience. Although he was still a young and brave commander, he was assigned to be the governor of Damascus, due to his outstanding accomplishments and his ultimate loyalty. While he was governor at Damascus, he received terrible news. Sultan Selim passed away. This was really hard for him because the Sultan was like his father. Janissaries to the Sultan were his sons, servants and bodyguards. Fatyon understood that he belonged to the Empire. He decided to change his name. He named himself Mehmed. Fatyon means good luck in Albanian. Indeed, he felt lucky to be a member of the Ottoman army. Fatyon's next place of duty was in Rumelia. After 30 years, he returned to his hometown. Now he was the governor of his people. Within a short time, he was summoned back to Constantinople as the third vizier. As he rose in rank, his predecessor Ibrahim Pasha was executed, so he succeeded him as the Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Empire. For two years, he was the second most important man in the empire. Just when he was at the top of his field, plague took his life. When he died, he had over 20 children. He also had a mosque built in Turkidak, where he assumed as his hometown. Viziers from a Janissary background continued to play important roles for the destiny of the Ottoman Empire until the early 19th century. However, when they became too powerful, they began to manipulate the sultans and were troublemakers before they were dissolved. For this reason, some say they destroyed the empire. Others say they instead glorified the empire. If you like this video, please subscribe, click the thumbs up button and feel free to share your thoughts. You can also support us on Patreon 